In order to have stitch here at the end, I am going to weave across one more time because I am right-handed and it is more comfortable for me to hemstitch from right to left than from left to right. The process of hemstitching at the end of your weaving is very similar. You'll go over two warp threads and down two weft threads. So your diagonal will be pointing down instead of up. Leave a tail that is four times the width of the weaving on your dominant side. There is a slight change in how to hem stitch at the beginning versus the end. I'll thread my needle and then place the needle at a diagonal facing down. Over two warp ends and down two weft ends. Find the point in that part of the fabric and pull it through. Go back around to the beginning and go under the two warp ends you just worked and over the extra length. Pull just to tighten and then continue on to the next group. Place the needle at a diagonal over two warp ends and down two weft ends. Then tighten. Go under the two warp ends and then over the excess thread and pull to tighten. Continue the same process across your weaving. Again, for the final group, go over one warp thread instead of two. Bring the needle to the start of that group and go under the selvage warp thread and the thread you just worked. And then weave in the end, a half an inch to an inch or so. Now both ends of your weaving are secure and you can do anything you'd like with them. Then trim the tail and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more techniques and tutorials. Happy weaving.